With the latest weekly update, Bungie has launched the second-ever Faction Rally event in Destiny 2. It's now live on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, marking the first time that players on that platform will be able to take part in the limited-time event. Faction leaders have returned to their respective locations in the tower, and you will need to pledge your allegiance to one again to participate. For the uninitiated, faction rallies are events where you temporarily join up with one of three factions Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, or Future War Cult. By playing the game normally, you'll earn faction tokens, which can be turned into your faction's leader for unique rewards. You can see all the faction rally weapons, armor, and gear in our gallery. A small selection follows below. The other aspect of this is competition. Each faction's members work to unlock the most rewards over the course of the event. The faction that emerges victorious will then sell a powerful, unique weapon for 50,000 glimmer to all players or just 1,000 if you're a member of that faction. This time around, New Monarchy will sell a sword if it wins, Dead Orbit a grenade launcher, and Future War Cult a fusion rifle. To get started, Yao will have to finish the campaign and reach level 20. From there, head to the tower and speak with each of the faction leaders if you haven't done so previously. Doing so will allow you to see the weapon that will be for sale if that faction emerges victorious. Yao will then pledge your loyalty and begin earning tokens through various activities. Once you've accumulated enough, you can return to the leader to cash them in for a faction-specific engram. Bear in mind, only the first 30 rewards you earn with each character will possibly include gear after that, Yao will only get shaders. There is also a faction rally exploit to account for. The way in which tokens are awarded is different than during the first faction rally. Destiny 2 S 1.0.6 update made changes to the number of tokens paid out by certain activities you'll get more in some ways and fewer in others. Each completed strike provides from 5 to 9 tokens previously, they offered 3 to 7. The first nightfall of the week per character provides 10 to 18 tokens, while heroic public events hand out 5 down from 8. Additionally, rather than destroying enemy resources in lost sectors, all members of a fire team will earn tokens by opening the chest at the end of a lost sector. This faction rally runs from now until the next weekly reset, which takes place on Tuesday, November 14th. Victory Week will begin at 10 a.m. Pacific Time 1 p.m. Eastern Time 6 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time that day, which will give players 7 days to purchase the winning faction's weapon and cash in any leftover tokens.